decisive motion. Cool. Yo, what's up, peeps? Christian Gabriel. I'm a rapper. Band from church. That's the movement. Lead singer in a band. Um, but we'll get into that. So, would you consider yourself a Christian or a gospel rapper? Nope. Definitely not. Um, I'm just. I don't know. I think my message is very. I don't think it's anti-gospel and it's not anti-Christian but I wouldn't say it is those things either it's just it's real music in it it's real talk real situations and sometimes it's aggressive and violent and sometimes it's mellow and, and calm but I don't know I guess people will put it in all sorts of different boxes but I don't think it fits in any really well I don't know some people think it's, it's blasphemous um, especially because I'm referring to a church. People are generally, I think it's more intrigued. Like, oh, what the heck is this about? Um, and what do you expect? I just, um, it's, it's, I think it's, to me basically, it's a, it's a vicious onslaught that happens in churches and that gets a blind eye turned to. Like, obviously, there's some stuff that everyone knows is wrong and people deal with it, but I'm, I'm talking about the stuff that people turn a blind eye to and just kind of oh, let it go because hey, it's church, we're not allowed to say anything. It's that kind of rubbish that I've seen my whole life and whatever, like, it's my life, innit? What else am I, supposed, what else am I gonna talk about apart from what I've lived and experienced? And, and that's it, so that's what it's gonna be. Band from Church is um, a movement. What happened two, about two years ago, me and a, a bunch of my friends actually got banned from the church that we attended, me and one other brother. Like, we actually grew up there, so I'd spent a good 16, 17 years of my life there. And just because we, um, we kind of spoke out constantly against some of the practices that the church was doing, basically, it's practically cult-like and um, just very, had nothing to do with God or anything. And it just kind of, I saw it as just oppressive and manipulative, so we kept speaking out against it. And um, you know what happens when one person speaks out, another person speaks out, and then another one does, and it kind of causes a bit of a stir. So I just feel like we was a threat to their regime. And I say regime because the communist comparison is real. Um, so it was that, like, it's, it's not the 1500s, so they weren't going to chop our heads off or kill us. Um, so it's just kick you out, innit, and banned from church. So that's where it came from. It's, it's actually real. I'm still banned to this day. I cannot go back. So. Me and my friends, we, did, we obviously we all did music and we decided to um, do like an EP together and I think that was just the perfect name because like, we were just going to express our feelings about what's, what's happened and where we're at. Like, I really lived this so it's, it's actually true stories, there's no made up stories, there's no fabricated scenarios, like it's actually just all real what really happens and then other than that it's just as you start to speak to people and meet people you realise it's not uh, uncommon. It's uncommon to get banned from a church, but the kind of situation that we went through and that kind of stuff that happens is not uncommon. So the banning from church, the movement, is just, I just started gathering people from all over the place who felt the same way, do you know what I'm saying? And were willing to speak up against it and do something about it to basically, so then the, the next generation of 13, 14, 15 year olds, like when they grow up, they don't have to really experience the same crap. So that's what banning from church is. The other music I've done previously was very, positive in a sense like it was very um like conscious like god do you know what i'm saying religious undertones and god and all that kind of stuff and pretty more just putting god on a pedestal or uplifting basically the good side of church do you know what i'm saying god and whatever where this is like the other side of the coin this is like the dark evil stuff that they want to hide or pretend that don't happen but it's really just as real you know what I'm saying? So I feel like the other side of the coin needs to be shown to give people a real picture of what actually happens and what actually goes on. So, yeah, this is more like protest music. Like, protest, Rage Against the Machine, um, NWA, Stand Up Against Injustice. You know what I'm saying? Like, that kind of, that kind of music. It's cool, so all them churchy people, like they won't dig because it's not it's not I guess a lot of people see it as an attack on something they love like they love their church or they they love all that stuff and they're gonna see this as an attack on it I don't see it like that I see it as an attack 
on rubbish or manipulation or lies or do you know what I'm saying the kind of stuff that God's against really um, but hey I guess some people don't see it like that so I don't I don't expect them to support it or like it or dig it or whatever and to be honest I don't really care because it's not for them do you know what I'm saying like if you hate it I'm happy like it's not for you it's for people like me who are on the outside who have had enough of this crap and do you know what I'm saying we don't want Get you know I guess there's some people on the inside who feel like me as well and they'll support it but the people that kind of was kind of down when I was doing more kind of more gospelish type music if they're not down now I don't give a damn it's not for you so that's how I feel no thoughts I don't know big up Jahazo though Jahazo's my dude and um Governor B he's my dude as well they're like the only man that I really see doing this thing. There's others. And this is just the beginning. I plan to take over the world. And I'm not even joking. <laughs> I was, I'm on some pinky in the brain thing. <laughs> like, but I feel like the way I am today, that getting banned from church was probably the most significant event in my life. Like, it was so significant in just me understanding who I am. I feel like what I'm here to do and um, just my attitude and the way I am so to understand that you have to understand where I've been do you know what I'm saying and what happened and, and you'll understand why I am the way that I am do you know what I'm saying so that's the kind of picture I'm painting and then from there who knows do you know what I'm saying um, if the door opens I'll go through it so I, it, it obviously it ain't gonna be this way once I've said it I've said it you know what I'm saying I don't need to be saying it forever but um, it's, it is very significant, do you know what I'm saying, in who I am and just the shaping of my character and do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like if you're going to understand anything about me, you have to understand that situation and where I came from and that's why I am the way I am. If I'm honest, it's early stages. Like I'm in the studio just like writing and reworking stuff um, just to make it um, to make it proper. But once, once it launches, you... To see me, like there'll be enough. Um, it will kind of annoy enough people that it will be on their lips, and it will kind of it will inspire enough people that at the same time as well. So um, you'll see me about that, definitely. Definitely this year, um, 2013. I'm looking around, probably around Halloween times, because I think it fits the theme. <laughs> like <laughs> it's a bit mad, so probably. Probably after, between Halloween and Christmas. So yeah, you see me roll up with a mask on, 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 a, on a madman tip, like. So uh, that's the time I'm looking. You know what it's like with these things though, but around that time. But before then, I'm, I'm hopefully looking to drop something before, just to kind of announce myself, do you know what I'm saying? And the kind of just the new, the new wave and the new direction that I'm going. Tweet me, Christian BFC. Christian, spelled the normal way. BFC number one, that's Twitter. Um, that's probably the best place. Real simple, like it's direct contact. Um, find me on there, and anything else you need to know, you can be fine through that as well.